Now we're hiking 75 stories up. So this was our second time visiting Carlsbad Caverns. We had visited, unbeknownst to us, like four years prior to the exact day. <laughs> and we didn't know that until we actually, a memory came up on our phone. So that was just kind of an interesting coincidence. But this is us taking the elevator down 75 stories or approximately 750 feet down to the big room trail which is about a one and a quarter mile trail um, in the cavern you can either take the elevator down from the visitor center or you can actually hike down all the way from the natural entrance which we'll show you guys here a little bit later we decided to take the elevator down and then hike back up out the natural entrance if you have lots of time and you're feeling up for it you could do both and hike down into the cavern and back up but you know that'll take quite a bit of time and it's pretty tough hiking back up um which you'll see um but if you have lots of time i mean i would recommend doing it so from what we've learned there's about 120 known caves that are at carlsbad cavern national park and the largest cave is 140 miles in length and 1604 feet deep wow and carlsbad cavern which is the cave that we actually went into is the the largest one that's developed for public which is um you know all the photos and footage that you see here and there are some other caves that you can explore on guided tours or you can actually go down further on a guided tour we have not done those from what I've read, you do a lot of, I mean, I guess you'd be considered spelunking. So you're, you're actually going through like really tiny spaces and you're crawling on your belly and having to like weave your way through a lot of the cave, um, which for this, you're not having to do that. It's actually a good majority of it is wheelchair accessible and it's pretty easy to get around. Um, so most anyone can do this trail. One of my favorite things, the coolest things of um, going to Carlsbad Caverns are the bats. That's one of the biggest questions that people ask is, are there bats that live in Carlsbad Cavern? And yes, there are. Um, in the park, there's like 16 or 17 different species of bats that have been identified. And three of those species actually roost like in the cave. Um, there's a couple species that um have like hundreds of thousands um you know population of bats and every night in the evening i think it's from like 5 p.m to 8 p.m they actually have what they call a bat flight program where you can go and watch the bats come out of the cave um to do like their nightly feeding and we've done that once we did it the first time that we were there and it's pretty awesome um, you, you actually sit by the natural entrance. There's no photography, no video that's allowed, no pets are allowed, um, because they don't want to like distract or, you know, disturb the bats as they're coming out. So the natural entrance trail, which is where we came out, where we see like all of the um, swallows and like the sunlight coming through, it's just like really the coolest sight coming out of the cavern. Um, but the natural entrance trail actually closes at a certain time. So before you decide that you're going to hike that, you need to check with the rangers to see if you have enough time because it takes about an hour to actually um, hike the trail.
So we hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos in the future, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified. Whenever we're making more of these videos, we hope to show you more parks in the future. Thanks for watching.